Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, friends. Enlightenment Education welcomes one and all to this wonderful webinar that is going to talk about how to use the new Zomio software. Nowadays, most softwares help homeopathic physicians to repertorize and to solve cases. And they give them some basic features like patient management, symptom recorder, and a search engine. Why is Zomio so unique and distinct? Well, our slogan says it all. All that you need in Homeo is present in Zomio. In the last few months and the last few years, Zomio as a software has made inroads in a lot of countries abroad and has made a big mark in India as well. If you want your homeopathy to be smooth, if you're thinking of more than homeopathy and to go the extra mile, Zomio is the perfect one-stop solution for you. I will just show you a few features and the wonderful offer that we have today for all you wonderful webinar attendees who, who have given us your time and patience today. So we'll just display the offer for today. Let's look what do we have installed for you. Okay, now in this wonderful offer, you just pay $99 and book this offer and you get it for $8.99. And you can look at your clock because the timer is already on. You just got a few hours to book this offer. So we've got like eight hours more left on this offer. And look at the wonderful features that it has. Right from complete repertory 2018, it has got remedy properties, remedy relationships, clinical tips, cured cases, and lots more. And today, to take you further through this webinar, we've got the dashing, dynamic Dr. Neha, who is a senior doctor, and she's currently working on a government project that caters to rural India, and they help all the patients in rural India where you have normal medication that doesn't reach there. Welcome Cure has gone and help all these patients. She's a counselor and an administrator too. And to accompany Dr. Neha, we've got a pioneer to the homeopathic software, HomePath, and a legend in homeopathy. He has served over 40 years in homeopathy and has solved successfully more than 40,000 cases over different age groups. He's got a very charismatic personality. I am talking about our very own Dr. Jabahar Shah. So friends, stay tuned for Dr. Neha and Dr. Shah. Hello everyone and welcome to this training webinar. I am really, really very excited to show you to unveil the new HomePath Zomio. It's a wonderful morning in Mumbai today and we are looking forward to training you and to showing you the most exciting features of Compad Zomio. Let me present to you Dr. Jawar Shah. Good morning, friends. Some of you, it's midnight, and some of you, it's evening. It's our pleasure to share with you something which has taken more than four centuries to develop and something which has taken us to put 200 years of entire work. You know, it is a lot of effort. The 200 years of homeopathy has been put in this software for your convenience. And what is the most beautiful thing? We have enjoyed creating something which is, this is the 14th version. And as the slogan rightly says, all in Homeo is in Zomeo. See friends, you are investing lot of your time 
lot of your energy today. And it is our moral responsibility to give you something which is very, very valuable. Something which is to your time's worth. What is most important we are going to share? See, all the softwares have got all the features today. It's very easy. But as you know, you know, there is a difference. There's a difference. You know, all cars are same, Neha. No, not at all. Not at all, right. So, but the features are same. So, same way. You will have a software which will have similar features. But what are we trying to do? Somebody will have Mercedes. Somebody will have Rolls Royce. Somebody will have some ordinary car. So what is extraordinary in this Zomio we are going to share today? How Zomio is different from other software? Okay, how you can save time and how you can get the right medicine. How you can get the right medicine, it is very important. See friends, all of us are having only one purpose that we can save the time and that is our 100% purpose. So we are going to focus on how we can save the time today. Okay. So Neha, can you start with the initial stage, the patient management? Before that, I would like to tell you that we have completely altered the user interface. Why is that so? I mean, we had tremendous response from people for the previous versions of Zomio. But here I can see that everything is different. Everything is looking bright. Everything is looking fresh. It's looking so different. Just like you in this morning. <laughs> So why is that? Why have we decided on completely changing this user interface? See, basically we took feedback from, we have 1,37,000 users yes. in 133 countries. Yes. So hundreds and thousands of them have given us a feedback. You know, this requires change. This requires some modification. So right. based on that, based on our users feedback, we have created an interface which is so friendly and so easy to manage that, you know, you just cannot miss it. And the second thing, which is very, very important, this software runs on Macintosh. It can run on Ubuntu. It can run on Android. It can run on, it can run on iOS. It can run on Windows. Wow. See I think the range. This is new. Yeah. Running on Mac. This is absolutely new. I think I'm very happy. And I think even our international users will be very happy on hearing this news. Right. Okay. So I'm excited now to start. Uh, we'll be first starting with just uh, saving a new patient. I want to show you the new patient management system. So let me just start by recording a new patient. All right, so this is nice. On the left hand side, I can see the entire patient list that I have. And on the right hand side, I can see the information of the selected patient. Wow, this is so easy. Now all I have to do to save a new patient is just click on this plus sign. I think this is completely intuitive, yeah, very intelligent. So let me start by putting in one of our patient's names. Okay, so I have just put in her basic information. And now all I have to do is save. And this patient gets automatically selected. Wow. This was so simple. I think it didn't take me more than five seconds to do this. 
Okay, now what do we do, sir? See, Neha, you know, the most important thing, as I said, is how to save time. Yes, definitely. And you know, all the inventions of the world have been done by lazy people. <laughs> and, you know, because why they want to invent something new? Because they want a shortcut. They want something easier. And I know I'm very lazy. Is it? Yes. <laughs> very, very lazy. So then I thought that, you know, going to the repertory, opening the repertory, recording the symptom, it's too cumbersome a process. So let me find out something which is more simple. So we designed, if you go to the repertory section and go to symptom recording, the quick symptom recording. And see, here it is. Now, if you just go to the first section, it has got different chapters. It has got something which is under different chapters and you can record from all of them. Suppose if we go to very simple, the first point, okay, the first point, the quick symptom record in that is clinical condition. We should look into it. Some of them are saying there is no sound. No, just reply to them. You are sitting there, so reply. So just go to arthritis. Say, suppose if the patient has got arthritis. So I can see on the right hand side all the rubrics that are related to this clinical condition, all the relevant rubrics. Yeah. Just record them. Simple. So I record all of them? Yes. One by one? Just for a change. No. Just click on a button. In one shot, you can record all the symptoms. Oh, wow. And this patient has got also fibroid in the uterus. Okay. So I just type in fibroid here? Yes. Just type simply fibroid. And see, you have got the range. Should I record these as well? Yeah. All right. Done. And Neha, you know that homeopaths prescribe mainly on mind. Yes. And, you know, otherwise you have to open the mind chapter, record the symptoms, and it's too cumbersome. Just go to simple symptom, open the mind, and cautious. The patient is very cautious. Click on cautious and record that. Record all. Record all. Okay. And the patient is very indecisive. Patient is very indecisive. So record some of the symptoms. You know, indecisive. Have you clicked on that? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then record the irresolute. From Kent. From Kent. Okay. And from Fata. Irresolution, vacillating, wavering. Wavering. Because the patient is wavering in his mind, you know. It's not strong like you and me and Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, what we have to do? Just click on two symptoms. And it's recorded. It's recorded. Now, the entire trouble started after disappointment. So, should I go into causation now? Yes. Here we have the whole range where you click on disappointment. Right. And the asthma started after disappointment. So special asthma, difficult ailments from disappointment. Very so specific. Wow. You recorded that? Yes. Recorded. Where do we reach? Let's go to the repertorization sheet. Okay. We have recorded 25 rubrics. I don't think it has taken us more than two minutes. Yes, absolutely. Maybe because you were talking two minutes. Otherwise, it would have taken <laughs> lesser time. And see here the result. Wow. How many? Just few seconds. 
And as I said in the beginning, I am lazy. So in my practice, I use one particular utility 100% every day. Every case which I see, I use this utility, which is known as cross repertorization. Okay, so it's a filter to yes. fill down the remedies. Exactly. So if you see on the right hand side, upper corner, there is cross repertorization. Cross and what is the most important in this? The indecisiveness. You know, all the other symptoms are there. You can see on the top that all the symptoms are covered. Yes. Okay. And second thing is wavering mind. Wavering mind, very, very important, the wavering mind. And the third thing is the cause. Now, how many remedies are there? Can you check on the top before you say we apply? Have, we no, have no. currently the number. 368 remedies. 368 remedies. And how many symptoms we have recorded? 25. 25 symptoms in two minutes, 300 and odd 68 remedies. remedies. Just apply this filter. So we have just one remedy now? Exactly. Oh, wow. This is the difference between a software and a software. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, there is one particular. Now, can you prescribe this? Yes, no? I That's... can prescribe this remedy right from here. Oh. Right from the repertorization screen. Amazing. All I have to do is just right click on Ignatia. So, I get a lot of options here. Uh -huh. I can select the prescribe option. Okay. And now, a pop-up window opens. I can now prescribe my remedy in the dosage, repetition and potency that I want. Oh, Coming that's... to potency, now this is a tricky part I feel uh -huh. for a seasoned prescriber like you it may be very simple but for someone who is just starting out, who is a fresher, the potency is as important as the remedy I feel. I Sometimes you know you give a lower potency it doesn't register, Yes. sometimes you give a very high potency brings in so much of aggravation which and is the very runs away. <laughs> exactly. So, so purpose what is do for we do now in this case? So there is a nice utility. Click on the lower side on patient potency, potency selector. selector. Right? Yes. All right. And then the patient is an adult. Okay. So click on those points. Adult. Professional. Professional. Sensitivity, average. Yes. Mental status, average. average. Now, if I want to skip a few points, can I skip? Yeah, yeah, you can skip it very easily. Okay, very nice. So, sleep is good, nutrition mm -hmm. is good, vitality can be marked low since... Yeah, because she is suffering from so many diseases. Alright. So, we go to the next parameter. Mm -hmm. Ignatia is a plant remedy. Yeah. We want a chronic type of uh, remedy and can I go ahead? Alright. It's a chronic stage? Yes. The myosin dominant. It's psychotic? Yes. It's out and out psychotic. Yes. Fibroids, asthma. Correct, correct. Alright. So I wanted to work on the intellectual level? Yep. Alright. And now what is my response? See, similarity is more. Everything okay. in this case is matching with that of the patient. Okay, and what do you want to do this with this patient? I want to cure her. Cure, so click on cure. All right, let's have a look at the result. Oh, so they have mentioned high potency, high potency with infrequent repetition. That's right. That means 200 or higher. Okay. okay. And give one or two doses. All right. Okay, infrequent means. So let me just mark this. Okay, the moment I click on it, I get options. Okay. I can select. Okay, so uh -huh. I select 200. Single dose? Absolutely, because the medicine is right. All right. And the prescription type would be chronic. Chronic. Now, See? 
What yeah. is the use of this prescription type? Yeah, why do we add chronic? You know, that is very peculiar reason. Suppose in future, you want to do some research work, you want to analyze some patients. Uh-huh. How many patients in chronic phase received Ignatia? You want to see it. Yeah. Because see, after all, we need to cater the software to the students, to the most research fellow. Wow. Huh. So it's, uh, it's a software for the entire homeopathic community. Exactly. All right. So let us save this. And this remedy has been prescribed successfully for this patient. Thank you. Okay. So this has not taken us more than five minutes, I think. Absolutely. Right. Very nice. And, you know, there is one particular thing. Now, if you want to add this patient some symptoms, Ah. you can just go to the repertory, open the repertory from the same menu, Repertory list. Mm-hmm. Right. And now there is one very simple utility which allows you to record the symptom just simply by typing. Oh. Like if the patient has got grief, uh-huh. huh? just so, type grief. All right. So should I search here? Yeah. It's directly jumped to the rubric. Exactly. And if you click on that, and there's a small little button on the right hand side, you can click on that, it gets recorded. Okay. Yeah. Just to repeat the practice, I will say one more symptom. Yes. Aversion to company. Company aversion. Yeah. So even if you type either way. Yeah. See what did we type? Aversion company. Yeah. And it jumped to the right rubric. So record this. All right. And if the patient has got fixed ideas. Wow. Just practice. It has given you a lot of mental. Yeah. We spent two hours with every patient. Say fix ideas. Now it has jumped to that. Yes. And it goes, gives you all the option. So it's a very easy search. And there are wonderful shortcuts there. On the side, we have listed shortcuts. And the functionality, what is the beauty of this? Is functionality of Macintosh version or Windows version, it is same. Okay. Only difference is the commands. You know, Windows uses different control uh-huh. and you know Mac uses the command system. So, so now uh, I can operate the software with my mouse as well as with the keyboard. Keyboard. Wow. Exactly. Okay. Uh, now I have seen this list. On this list I have 41 repertories. That's true. <laughs> A lot of softwares don't have these many repertories. I mean, I have heard a lot of physicians say that we don't need more than five repertories to practice or we don't need more than 10 repertories to practice. Why do we have 41 repertories in our software? What is the point? No more the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> no, jokes apart. Why do we have so many repertories in our software? See, I tell you, there was a rich lady who owned a fleet of cars. So one day she would travel by Mercedes, Mm. one day by Rolls Royce, and she would take one day the matching color car to suit the dress she is wearing. Wow. (laughs) I wish I'm that rich someday. (laughs) Sure, if you (laughs) use (laughs) Pompat and Homeopathy. Now, uh, you know, why? Why do we use? See, the most important thing in repertory is the range. Each repertory has got something which is most unique, which is not there in other repertories. So we start with the first repertory, which we have it in the list. The complete repertory. The complete repertory. Now, why do we have complete repertory? Complete is the only repertory 
in the world where author has taken efforts for many, many years and thousands and thousands of, you know, rubrics have been added, the newly proved remedies have been added, even, even some of the clinical medicines have been added. Now, no other software has got all these details, no other software, trust me, I have been in practice for 40 years and it is amazing, okay? It has got the compilation which is unmatched. So that is why we have taken and this particular repertory is more based on... I think it is Kent. Kent, yes. The order of the chapters looks like that. So this is Kent's repertory in a much more enhanced updated form, yeah. more remedies, more rubrics. So someone following the Kentian approach can easily use this repertory to prescribe for their patients. Absolutely. Very nice. What and about the other repertories? Uh, I'm coming to that. <laughs> See, why do we need all the repertories? The most important is the clinical repertories. If you open Borek, you will understand. See, some of the practitioners who are online today with us, some of them are amazingly good practitioners and they are from other systems of medicine. Yes. And some of the freshers, you know, right from childhood, we have been taught some very interesting concept. This is our digestive system. This is our respiratory system. This is our nervous system. So suppose if a practitioner doesn't know where to find a particular rubric, he is very easily able to find out. Huh? Absolutely very easily. is able to find out the right rubric. Say suppose if you click on nervous system. Okay. What are the rubrics you are able to see? So epilepsy and its subrubrics. First is the so, brain. Yes. So everything to do with the brain and the nervous system uh -huh. is there in Borek. Okay. Now, if you click on circulatory system. Okay. So now I have everything on the arteries. Amazing. See how beautifully arteries related. And what are the rubrics there? So, I am seeing uh, degeneration, fatty, dilatation, aneurysm. Aneurysm. Now, suppose if I want to know something more about aneurysm, we have a wonderful utility, which is patient instructions. Okay. See, friends, you know, everything is created to make you master. And here we are into different clinical conditions. So I can see 604 clinical conditions listed. Uh -huh. Do you mean to say that we have information of more than 600 diseases right in home path? Yes. And not only the diseases, it's symptoms, it's do's and don'ts, it's indications. And when will you see the doctor? Okay. So now if I put in aneurysm, oh, so I have notes on aortic aneurysm as well. Uh -huh. So this is something that I think we can give to the patients as well. Yeah. See, you know, understand. Like I'm a I'm a reasonably busy practitioner. I see on an average 40 patients every day. So suppose if I have to give or my assistants have to give the details to the 40 patients. And this 10 minutes it takes to give instructions. So everything over and above the homeopathic prescription. Uh -huh. All the other instructions. Yeah. Will it take 10 minutes? Yes. Now 40 patients. That means 400 minutes. Mm -hmm. If I practice for 5 days in a week. That comes to 2000 minutes in a week. Yes. And in a month. 
8,000. 8,000 in a year? 96,000. So if I'm able to save this 96,000 minutes of my practice, I can spend it with my family. Yes, of course. I just calculated it is more than 1,500 hours saved. Exactly. Because of this utility. Exactly. And if you work for eight days, I mean, eight, eight hours, hours eight day. hours in a day, just imagine the number of days you save. You know, and that is what. And what is the most important? Can you share this with them? That you can give it to the patient in their hand. Okay, so I have a small print button on the side. Uh -huh. So I can print this and I can give it to my patients. Also, you can have another utility which is sound. You can give this in the hand of a patient and he can listen it. Can you play this please? Yes, sure. Can, can the audience listen? Gordon, can you take care, please, that the sound reaches? Play. All right. So, while we are preparing the medicines for them, they can listen to the instructions. Okay. And you can see asthma also, same way. Right. Let's go back. Okay. And you can enlarge the font. Just enlarge the font. Enlarge it completely. And scroll up, scroll down. This is really nice. So there are do's and don'ts as well. Exactly. What I need to avoid, what I need to have. Now, uh, asthma is a condition where, um, you know, I generally don't just give do's and don'ts. I also tell them what they are supposed to eat, what they are not supposed to eat. So, what about diet? Do we have something for diet? Yeah, just scroll down and then click on the diet and nutrition. So, now I can give, oh, there is asthma. So now I can give diet instructions as well in printed and listening format. Yeah, can you add that the font and show? Yes. Can you remain, make it permanently enlarged in the section on the, uh, you know, windows? If you click on that and save the large font, okay. physician, under physician, font large, it will remain permanently. Okay, that's nice. The signs and symptoms, the diet restrictions. See, friends, everything is taken care. So it's not just homeopathy that Zomio gives. It gives much more than... Neha, there is a beautiful question from Dr. Kurban Ali. Kurban Ali, a very good morning to you. He is asking diabetic repertory. And here it is. We have just open the repertory section yes. and lack the fonts. See, we have many lifestyle disease repertories. Embracing Kurbanali, your day is done. Click on Dr. Ajit, and he has a beautiful diabetic repertory. Click on diabetes and like the font, please. And see, you have a repertory which is ready with you. So what I'm seeing is that it's not just diabetes, uh, but there are repertories that cover other lifestyle diseases as well. Exactly. And the most important, friends, we have taken care of your practice. We have taken, you know, the most, when I was, when I started my practice, there were hardly any cases of AIDS. And today, the AIDS in Nigeria, AIDS in certain part of India is so strong. Can you click and open the AIDS repertory? There's a beautiful AIDS repertory. There's a beautiful hypertension repertory. Friends, thyroid repertory, the trauma repertory. Just imagine. And then we have some very special repertories. 
Can you share this, some of these repertories? Yes. What are they? So, we have a repertory specially created for asthma. Again, uh -huh. a rising uh, lifestyle disease, especially in children. We Leha, have... all over the world, there are 400 million asthmatic patients. Can you imagine if we are able to help even 2%? Exactly. The... We'll be all rich. <laughs> <laughs> So we have a repertory on constipation, diarrhea, obesity, piles and this one is one of my favorite ones which is vaccination repertory. Yeah, because see I will tell you, share something very interesting. Today on an average, American receives 32 vaccines and average Canadian receives 28 vaccines. And it is absolutely must. Okay. And you know what are the side effects of vaccination? Today 32 vaccination. It plays a havoc with our immunity. Yes. And today the autistic children are on a rise like anything. 15% of the American children are today autistic. And they are expected by 2025 it will be... 20 to 22 percent of the children autistic. Can you imagine what is? And here the Kunika is asking, do we have autism repertory? Kunika, very soon you will have autism repertory added to this. See, every time we will keep on adding. We'll, every time we are making it better and bigger, better and bigger. The purpose is to create wonderful homeopaths practicing great effective result giving homeopathy you were saying something about vaccination yes so basically when we talk of vaccination when we get kids in the clinic that have come with some bad effects of vaccination we usually think of two remedies the first one is puja mm -hmm. the second one is silesia and sometimes we could think of antimtat but looking at this repertory i can see you know, my barriers breaking. Like There are so many remedies that okay. cater to bad effects of vaccination. Like I'll just give you a small example. Okay. There was a patient who had this incessant cough mm -hmm. after he was vaccinated. And uh, we had tried Thuja, we had tried Silesia, and it wasn't working. Right. Like, the child was very distressed. So I used this repertory. What did you do? I just searched. Uh -huh. I just ran a search for cough. I thought, let me see what comes up. And to my surprise, so puja was one remedy, but I also found squilla. Oh, it's this a surprise to me. Something that we would never think of. Exactly. For cough after vaccination. But then how do you prescribe? How do you prescribe immediately? So How do you compare this squilla and exactly. puja? So what I needed to do was I needed to compare the symptoms of Squilla and Puja. Uh -huh. So what I did right from here, I just right clicked on Squilla and then I selected add to compare. Oh. Then I right clicked on Puja and again I did the same exercise that is add to compare. And finally, I just clicked on compare. Wow. So you have both the remedies side by side. Yes. So it becomes easier for me as a physician to go through and to compare both the remedies. So one remedy side by side. And then what have you shown this? I have shown the keynotes. Okay. That we have prepared, that home that has prepared. Okay. So how do you compare now? So basically, I went, I jumped to different sections, right from this section part. And you have, you have also confirmatory symptoms. Yes. Can you click on confirmatory symptoms? Wow. So now you know that the case requires Quila and not Thuja by confirming the symptoms. And the child was better. Exactly. That is all we need in practice. Yes. You know, create a healthy world. Amazing. It is something very surprising. I mean, and and I can tell you that this utility is not available in any other software. No, it's not. See, this is where HomePad Zoomio 
is Force a better tool. software. Yes. Okay. What I have also noticed, mm -hmm. I have noticed two very unusual repertories. Something that I did not expect. Right. One was one is Gentry repertory and mm -hmm. the second is Nair repertory. Both of these are very unusual repertories because they divert from the normal, uh, you know, format of what a repertory should be. Right. So why have we included these two here? See, I'll tell you, our focus is to help the patient. Yes. Now, most important is Gentry. Gentry repertory is the only repertory which has kept the original absolutely original symptoms of proving. Can you open the Gentry repertory? Yes. So this is mind and disposition. Mind of Gentry. And see how beautifully it will open out the original symptoms. Okay. And you know very interesting. Very interestingly it will give you the original unmodified expression. So suppose if you are interested in knowing and reconfirming the prescription, this is the perfect way. And you know, it has got more than 5,000 pages of information. Just imagine 5,000 of pages of original unmodified information. Because what happens in repertory, when you are converting from the original symptom, there is a shift. Yes. There is a shift which happens in this. And this is very dangerous. Sometimes the developer of the repertory had a fight with his wife. <laughs> and he can absolutely wrongly interpret the symptom. <laughs> and put I hope that's not the case. <laughs> and you are talking about NAD. This reminds me of a very interesting case which I had. There was a young boy. He came to me for the treatment. So, you know, he planned to go to Canada. And as you know, and in visa, you know, visa application, you have to go through all the investigation before. Yes. And medical tests. And then only you can go for uh, you know, if you are declared fit. Yes, fit. So he was diagnosed with a huge tumor in the chest, in the mediastinum, there was a tumor. And this was a big problem. So when I interviewed, when I interviewed, there was something very important. Repeatedly, he would say only one point that I need to go abroad. I need to go abroad. I need to go away from the country. So I interpreted this particular symptom as desire to go abroad. Okay. Would this be present in most of the repertories? Yeah, it should be present. So let's have a look. Okay. Abroad. Just one rubric. Right. And, and where is it present? It's from Nair's repertory. Nair's repertory. I get it now when you say original unmodified picture. Exactly. And what is the remedy? On a click, can you see it here? Yes. I just clicked on it and the only remedy is Merxol. Exactly. In this patient, I gave Merxol 30, three doses every night. And what happened? In few weeks time, I mean rather three months time, we repeated the x-ray mm. and the x-ray was normal. The huge tumor which was present in a patient just disappeared with few doses of mercurius. Otherwise to operate such a tumor, because there are many arteries, there, is, there are many veins, there are many nerves which pass through the body in the chest. So, a lot of risk involved. Risk? In oh, it's a major risk. If one particular nerve can get cut, the patient can die. Yes. One particular artery gets punctured, there is a collapse and the patient can die. This reminds me of uh, another case. It was your case. 
I remember uh, you had taken a lecture for us and uh, in uh, my college. So you mentioned this one case of asthma in uh -huh. a boy, and he used to and and he had told you that I feel better only if I stand near the window and I lean out like this. So how will you search for it? <laughs> I hope I can. I, I think this should be again there in a lot of repertories. So, okay. So let me say asthma. Okay. Standing. Leaning. Window. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, just one repertory, uh -huh. and that to Nair again. Exactly. Nair strikes again, <laughs> and the remedy that is there is cannabis sativa. Now I remember uh, that cannabis sativa was given. You had said, but yeah. at that time we were all very surprised mm -hmm. because cannabis sativa is not a remedy that you generally think of for asthma. Exactly. See, this is why you know. This is like a mine, mine. Homeopathy is like a mine. The more you dig, more treasure yes. you'll get. And the beauty of this mine is that from the same mine, you get gold, you get silver, you get copper, you get diamonds, you get rubies. So homeopathy is like a mine, you know. You keep on going deeper and deeper and deeper. And every day it surprises you. And please understand that every day I learn something new. I'll just share a beautiful case of rhinitis which I had. You know, the wife came and gave the history. The husband was very shy. The wife said that he'll ask for something. And whenever he asks for something, okay, Whenever he asks for something, I give him, he refuses. I give him something, he refuses. Now this particular thing could have been interpreted in a different way. And normally we will think of... I would think of Camomilla first. And Sina. Sina. Now you have a look. What does the system give? Uh -huh. See what it gives. What do I type in? So he was craving for a lot craving of things. for a lot of things. So craving many things. And he was happy with nothing. Alright, so pleased. Just one rubric from Partak. Can you enlarge the font, please, so yes. that you, viewers can see it. You know, enlarging of font is very important. So just one reference from yes. one repertory. Which repertory? One rubric, which is Partak's repertory. Exactly. So what does that mean now? That means that I need more than 10 repertories. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I've seen that the remedy is alium sativa. See, normally we use alium sativa for yes. most of the cases. Okay, alium sativa is known to produce rhinitis, burning at the nose, redness of the nose, watering of the eyes. Yes. But nobody thinks of alium sativa. And this is where the patient was given few doses of alium sativa 30, which got completely... See, this is what is homeopathy. You know, we remain in a false illusion. Most of us remain in that illusion that we know everything. But Neha, a human brain can remember only 50,000 facts. I think less than that. Nowadays, yes. Because <laughs> we have bombarded with WhatsApp. And we have Google. Tools to remember everything. <laughs> and the stress of life. So, we cannot remember everything. Okay? We cannot 
remember everything this um, you know reminds me that in our software we have more than 3000 remedies in while i was studying uh, our syllabus included about just around 200 250 right yes so and even those amount of remedies let me tell you it's not easy to remember <laughs> But here in the software, I can see three thousand remedies. Yeah. So, you mean to say that I can prescribe any one of those remedies just by finding their information in the software, learning about the new remedies that exactly. we have? Exactly. See, very simple. You just go to the search facility, click on search, and you can say you may be looking into composite family. You may be looking into any other family just click on that and you will be able to see it from different author okay so right now we have 3423 remedies exactly so if i want to see those remedies that belong to a certain family say um ranunculaceae mm -hmm. so i just typed in ranunculaceae here yeah oh and the list just drills down to those 44 remedies that belong to that particular family exactly i think this is a phenomenal feature especially for teachers for uh, people who are you know writing their dissertations at postgraduate level for people who are um, pursuing a, a phd in certain remedies or certain families so it has got an academic bent as well Zomio has yeah. an academic bent as well. That's very nice. Now this reminds me when I say academics, I get reminded of the books. I'm yeah. very excited because we have some really amazing reference books with us. Yeah, the most beautiful thing is that it has got more than one thousand two hundred and fifty volumes of data. Oh. I challenge very openly. that even no other software in the world will have 1250 volumes just imagine how easily you can get into that zone so we have more than 100 materia medica books right from old as well as contemporary authors uh we have books on therapeutics we have books on pharmacy we even have journals exactly 16 journals and i think a lot of these journals date back to the 1800s if i'm not wrong we will never never get a hard copy of these journals anywhere neha i when you know i i'm also a collector i collect old things you know i enjoy collecting the ancient treasure literature I went on to buy some of this journal, and each volume you'll be surprised. You know how much I must have paid? Yeah, how much? Sometimes four hundred dollars one volume of journal, which was eighteen hundred. You know, and some volumes were costing, which was beyond my budget, was costing one thousand dollars. You know, it's less. It's more than the cost of our software. <laughs> and still we have tried to put everything you know heritage and not only this see it will take care of so many things like i'll tell you a very simple thing normally we were talking in this case the disappointment yes today the world has become so open all of us go through disappointments right yes and many of you had a successful love you are one of the rare ones today <laughs> and you married your loved one we have gotten who got a chance to marry the loved one the entire world knows <laughs> good that <da>? see <laughs> they that became a celebrity <laughs> <laughs> but what happens to the people who had love disappointment can you search that in one shot in the books yes So and, you know books. what are the remedies, friends? What are the remedies you think when there is a love disappointment? 
Loud disappointment. What are the remedies? Normally you think of natromium, Ignatia, Phosphorus. And here we go. So we have 67 references. And, and does, it become, does it become the... So I am seeing cactus. Now just imagine, could you ever imagine cactus as a remedy for love disappointment? Only for physical complaints of the heart. Yes, we always think of cactus with heart problem. But if the patient comes with a heart problem, with choking, love disappointment, you can think of nitro, I mean, cactus. Yes. We also have hyosinus. Hyosinus. We have iodum. Exactly. Heliborus. Heliborus, yes. And can you sort out from different, you know, which source? Can you sort out the source? Yes. Can you enlarge the font also so that yes. it becomes easy? Okay. So if I only want to see from, say, Materia Medica or... Say, Germans, the most rare thing. So I have 10 references from journals for love disappointment. Exactly. So peer-reviewed, clinically verified articles, uh -huh. treasures that I can read anytime. See, Dr. Nia, this is the beauty. This is the beauty which we should all appreciate. You know, the life is for learning. And not only it, it remains here, we can even treat it, treat animals. You know, other day I had a dog coming with a problem of distemper. Okay. And I was surprised. Genuinely, I didn't know that whether there are any remedies for distemper in our software. And I searched for distemper. Give the correct spelling. You have a help also available. So I have 186 references telling me how to treat distemper. Exactly. See friends, sky is the limit. Even if you cure one case, your cost of the software is recovered. Trust me, you should be open to learning. You should be open to using the software intelligently. Okay. So coming back to the original subject which we are talking about, the repertories. You know, why do we have so many range? You were talking to me. Okay. So we covered complete, we covered uh, clinical repertories, we covered uh, lifestyle related repertories, uh -huh. we have other uh, special uh, repertories, we have Puritan repertories. Uh, I'm curious, we also have some hidden gems here. We have, I can see we have Roberts. Exactly. And see, we have Wards. There's a particular group. See, we are not, we want to cater to every category. So there's a particular group, group you know, which practices only on the sensation. Yes. And we have both Wards and Roberts sensation as if, which can help you to the practice in a particular way. And these are again uh, clinically verified symptoms. Exactly. So you can't go wrong when you're prescribing from these repertories. So uh, is it possible? I mean, uh, a lot of people swear by just one repertory. But now I can see that, you know, the horizons are opening. I can record two rubrics from complete repertory. I can record two from Fatak. I can record two from Borik. Right. And with a combination of these really awesome repertories, I can get my exact synonym. Exactly. And why? Why restrict when we have a range? We have a 10 course menu. <laughs> 41 in this case. Oh. You are very smart. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we spoke about repertories, we uh, spoke about uh, comparison of remedies, we spoke about books and new remedies. So we have something, we have a lot for practitioners, we have a lot for researchers, but 
what about teachers and students they make up a huge chunk of our homeopathic community you know i will take you to something which is amazing for the practitioners as well as for the academician but before that i would like to share with you there are two clinically beautiful repertories that are the three one is by kullar which is absolutely practical second is by dr prabhakar shetty he is amazing in sharing his clinical knowledge it's nearly 100 years of wisdom being shared by him then there is something by balbir singh and something very interesting by dr sunil these are all very special repertories like fatak very special because it has been time tested you know you know what happens in practice like when i started sadness had only 70 or 80 medicines yes today if you go to sadness and depression there are 1000 medicines and we get depressed ourselves looking at those 1000 <laughs> medicines <laughs> you don't know what to prescribe so in such circumstances we have something which is very practical which has been tried on patients and they give you a smaller group of two or three medicines yes yes so and very very specific mm-hmm. very very clinically oriented repertory right very useful for quick prescribers absolutely now you know going back to the question which you have asked yes what is that for the practitioners and academicians the first thing which when go to the academic module Hompas has got wonderful academic module, which is very interesting, and you can open it with the tips, the visual tips. Wow! You know, one picture, as the saying goes, is equivalent to thousand words. Isn't that amazing? Yes. That bones are four times stronger than the concrete. and there are amazing facts about our human body something which you cannot even imagine so all these points are listed down and just wait you know normally we are worried about our mobile phone which has got 20 megapixel 20 megapixel camera and we are worried we know where is it where is my mobile you know we are all the time worried and anxious but here just imagine your eye which has got 576 megapixel amazing and there are many such facts which are very useful also neha sometimes when we are we are sitting in the practice there are patients you know today everything is boiling down to google yes or you know they say that okay google says this google says that you know homeopathy is not effective you know we have four generations into homeopathy and whatever i am today the name fame money i have it is only because of homeopathy so we have a beautiful celebrities who talk about homeopathy you know amazing celebrities who say see can you scroll down oh who is he is he your favorite better than dinners <laughs> no <laughs> see friends then david beckham such a world renowned player is using homeopathy can you show some more amazing see how many people all over world the president of india uses homeopathy rockefeller uses homeopathy and this is the king's letter oh lindsay liz hardly madonna all of them use homeopathy can you believe it and the father of india father of nation uses homeopathy amazing so whenever the patient the mother teresa oh amazing my favorite boris becker the youngest winner of wimbledon uses homeopathy amazing see friends 
all these people, so the celebrities, the intellectual, you know, I give this to the patients. And sometimes I joke with them. I said, only intelligent people use homeopathy. Does it solve your problem? <laughs> and then we have wonderful tips, which are known as clinical tips. Amazing clinical tips, which can help you in the practice. You know, different things, just go through, you will enjoy, you will learn every day something new in the comfort of your home. See the purpose, what is the whole purpose? Purpose is to make it so simple that your practice is amazing. Okay, then we have health tips, we have visual tips, everything available to you. Okay. The nutrition tips. So once the tips are over. So all these tips, I think uh, even in your clinic, you can just keep playing them on a screen to keep the patients engaged and busy yeah, that, and interested. Mm, yes. That makes it very simple. You know, people get then they don't keep on knocking again and again your door. When do we have that time? When do we have our turn? Okay. Now, can we go back to academic module? Something more interesting? Clinical examination. See, most of the practitioner, can you enlarge the font, please? I mean, I would like that and request the designers and, the, you know, that the font should remain enlarged once selected. Now, very interestingly, you get general examination. Okay, different aspects. You get cardiovascular examination. See, here you can do auscultation. Click on auscultation and you get different heart sounds, different parameters. So how to do the physical examination? See, some of the schools in India as well as abroad may not teach with you complete physical examination. So here you can learn a complete examination of a patient. And then we have a disease details in the patient instruction. So you can learn about different diseases. Then you can have a respiratory system. Here you can have observation, inspection, percussions. All the details are available. Okay. The second point which is very important. Can we go back? Again, keep your fonts enlarged, please. Is the experts, what do they say? Uh, Kent, Kent has got wonderful, so we have got wonderful cases, 112 cases of Kent from the master. The cases are available to you. Different clinical conditions, different remedies. Okay. So like a continued learning. Learning is there. And in this particular thing, software, Neha, there is one secret I want to share. There are 8,000 plus cured cases to refer to. So your learning continues for the lifetime. Okay. Next is about the pioneers. There are different pioneers in homeopathy. Suppose if you have to write your thesis, class yes about the pioneers mm -hmm. we can do it right from here we don't have to refer to another book we don't have to uh, refer to the internet to google all of the information is available right here mm -hmm. in this one software that and is really good. can you share something more about this utility more more academics so apart from this I can see that we have something even for students. Mm -hmm. We have something called as thesis guidelines. So it gives you the exact type of guidelines that you need to make the synopsis as well as to make the dissertation. Exactly. And apart from that, I can see even for teachers, there is something like a question bank. So I'm seeing the subjects like physiology, preventive and social medicine, 
practice of medicine. So even non-homeopathic subjects. Subjects are covered. Wow. And there's a MCQ, multiple choice question, on the range from philosophy to the repertory to the materia medica. See, everything is being balanced. And then we have this are multiple there are multiple choice questions, so you can take your own taste. Yes. And and there is one more thing. Just go back. What is that? Viva questions. Viva questions. So you can prepare on materia medica, you know, on the repertory, pharmacy, organon. See the number of questions which are being. So the knowledge keeps on continuing. You know, there is no end. Is no I always believe in one thing, you know. Why why still I'm young and energetic? Why? Because I'm learning every day. The moment you stop learning, the clock turns other way. You know? Speaking of learning, can we now look at a very interesting case? Sure. It's one of your cases. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's share it with everyone. So over to you, sir. This is a case of yours of renal failure with schizophrenia. Very dangerous combination. <laughs> so this particular girl, she was around 18 when she came. She was so beautiful. My assistants were, you know, they had, they had white eyes open. She had few pimples and everybody thought that she has come for treatment for her pimples. But actually she had renal failure with schizophrenia and she was advised for the transplant. Okay, and you can see the blood urea had gone up. The renal arterio arteriogram shows that the right kidney atrophied with total blockage as if the right kidney was absent. Yes. The left kidney was non-functional and it, rather it was functioning low 80% and it was going down. The young girl had few symptoms which were very characteristic. She was proud of her achievement. She was proud of her looks. She was proud of her beauty all the time. You know, she would try to impress all my assistants in the clinic. She was very active sexually at young age. She broke up from the boyfriend and she thought that the boy is absolutely not intelligent. She was laughing at serious things. This were the few symptoms. Now, can you actually record the symptoms? in a new patient. Can you open a new case and show how fast it can be recorded? The practical experience is very important. Okay. So, let's do a rep search then. I yeah. think that is my most favorite feature because it saves my time. So, I just press control S and now I can search. So, um, based on the case that we Can saw, you open the repertory at least? Then yes. show that, you know, it can be done live, even when the patient is there. Yeah. So from complete, let's take our first symptom, schizophrenia. All right, we've already jumped to it. Record? Yes. What else can we take? The haughtiness. She is haughty and you are very naughty. <laughs> All right, haughty. Then what else do we take? Laughing at serious matters? Yes, that's a very important symptom. You know, if you don't get that, you cannot prescribe a remedy. Sexual desire increase. Take one with female, huh? Yes. So four rubrics. Okay. All right. So and what came? 
we had 358 remedies. The top ones being platina and phosphorus. Can we go back to the case? Anything missed out? Nothing at serious matter? Yes. Ah, okay. See, you have missed out a very vital symptom. Mother mentioned that she had one confidential point. Made the daughter sit outside. That she had a romantic relationship with her own I mean, gender. She would love female relationships. How will you take this no break? Can I type in, like you said, love for own gender? So can yeah. I type in love? Love? Own. Uh -huh. See? Yes. Wow. So we have love, own sex with one of her, homosexuality, women. Yes. So let's record. Record. Well. Okay. And now you have to get the remedy. So we have platina coming on top and it is followed by phosphorus. They both are covering all the symptoms. Yeah. So how do we differentiate? How do we know that we have to give platina to this patient or phosphorus to this patient? So we discussed last time. So let's compare. So right click, add uh -huh. to compare. Add to compare. Right click. Add to compare. Can you enlarge the font first so that you know the group can see? Just minimize this, minimize this, enlarge the font, and that still go to the maximum. Yeah, see now they can see it at least, you know, because seeing is believing. <laughs> All right, yeah, see now we'll show the compare. See, now friends, you can have as many remedies as you like for the compare. But here you can select and restrict to two yeah, remedies yeah, and, and show the Materia Medica or the keynotes. And confirmatory symptoms. Now here we have absolutely clear. What does it say? So Platina says eroticism with excessive sexual desire. Haughty, proud, arrogant, contentious with superiority complex. So this is the, these are the confirmatory symptoms of this remedy. So I think it differentiates very well between platina and phosphorus. So now I'm sure that we have to give this patient platina. Great. So let's see what was given. Yes, this was the totality we had taken. Platina and phosphorus covered all rubrics. We compared the two. We confirmed platina. Just few doses of platina cured the patient completely. This is what you want in practice. These are the results. So if you are looking for such results, go for the right decision support system in your life. You can see both the kidneys are normal. The blood pressure touched normal. Friends, this is homeopathy. Okay. Can we go back to the academics which we had started? Yes. I have got something for the young practitioners. Very interesting you feature in utilities. In utilities, we have something known as mother teacher which is very, very important. Suppose if the patient comes in the beginning of the practice, you know, you don't know how to find the right medicine. So temporarily you can use this external or internal mother tinctures, which can give a lot of relief, which can give a lot of relief. Suppose there is a burn, you can give cantharis and it will produce the relief. Okay. So very important, if the child is not eating, you can give alfalfa mother tincture. It will help you a lot. So these are all small tips. There is another utility which is known as prophylaxis. See, homeopathy is the most important 
yesterday i read a very interesting article that the preventive business preventive medicine business is going to be billions world over okay now preventive medicine is there only with homeopathy if a child is suffering from measles you don't want your other child to suffer simply just click on measles prophylaxis and you get a range of medicine you give pulsatilla your second child will not neha will have measles or will have a measles with minimal this thing and what no complications no side effects no side effects then we have therapeutics you know both the therapeutics combined you have more than 400 different clinical conditions suppose if the patient is coming to you can you go to therapeutics different therapeutics see and if you study this therapeutics before the patient enters your chamber you can study okay you can study everything very easily this is the beauty of it you can make your question bank you can ask and you can differentiate different medicines which come for such clinical conditions and Neha, Dr. Neha, it is, there is also a text to speech. Yes. Can you so, enlarge the phone? Yeah. So if the physician is, you know, traveling somewhere, going somewhere, and he would still like to, you know, upgrade his knowledge. Right. He can use this feature without having to strain his eyes reading it. He just has to click on this particular feature and the software will start speaking out the symptoms today. Is it? So that is the saying, apple a day keeps the doctor away. So therapeutic a day, you keep on learning every day. Wow. <laughs> amazing. This has been really an amazing session. It's been an amazing talk. And... Uh, Are you missing out something? Because the friends are here. We are always going to miss out on something. Is because it? the software is very huge. It has got a lot of information in it. I think even if you have this software, if you've been having this software for months, there is always something new that you will learn yeah. the next time you open it. We can show this very interesting feature, group symptoms. The group symptoms. This is really good for practitioners as well as for teachers. So if they want to learn something about a particular group of remedies, say the calliums or the ferrums or the calcareas, this particular section is of great use. It helps you to differentiate between different remedies and different remedy groups. So friends, if you have any questions, we are there to answer all of them. And then we have a garden, a diamond, dynamic man with all the energy. He says that you have spoken enough. <laughs> Give me a chance to speak something more. Saji, good morning. How are you? It's always nice to say hello to you. Thank you, Purnima, for your amazing comments. And uh, we look forward to interacting with you soon. Any questions, friends? We are open to questions now. If you have any questions, please, please ask them to us. Can we, can we sort out the question bank yes. separately? So for Dr. Bhavan, uh, this is the software that is available for across a lot of operating systems and platforms for desktop, laptop, as well as for your smartphones. So Android as well as iOS. 
for Dr. Shivashish, uh, we will get in touch with you uh, to confirm what type of software you have and how we can help you out in this. Can you just highlight the links and the numbers? Autism, we have said. So, Dr. Monica, to answer her question, yes, we do have a potency selector with us. Uh, we had shown it at the beginning of our session, but we can show it to you now as well. So, from this potency selector guide that we have, you just have to enter in a few parameters of your patient and you get the potency as well as the repetition that you need to give to your patient. I will just show you an example. I have to mark certain parameters. Say pathologically advanced, poor similarity. Suppose if you get a case yes. with advanced pathology. Yes. based on the uh, parameters that we have entered, the software gives you the appropriate result. So, the potency as well as the repetition in which you can give to your patient. Okay, for the person who has asked about uh, him having an older version of Zomio and whether this is available as an upgrade or can you upgrade? Rajesh will get in touch with you. Yes. Our support team will get in touch with you soon to answer all your queries and questions. So friends, it has been a great pleasure being with you and enjoying Whatever we have shared. There is one more question. Okay. Uh, Dr. Bhavan has asked that these are the features available in HomePath Firefly mobile app. So what is the difference? Uh, Dr. Bhavan, the difference is in the amount of repertories and data that is available in the upper versions of Zomia. So the features that you have will be the same. The amount of data or the volumes of data will be different in both the versions. Dr. Sonamne has asked whether it is available for Mac. Yes, this version is available for Mac, both for the smartphone as well as for the uh, desktop and laptop. Please, friends, share your comments. And now we have Gordon who comes and shares his offer. So, till then. Thank you. And those of you whose friends have missed out this can come also on Saturday morning the same time. And maybe if you want to see some new examples, new cases, you're most welcome. Thank you very much. Can you join Gordon? Yes, yeah, sure. We will take a leave. Okay, friends. So I'm sure this was very, very entertaining for you and very tempting. Educative. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. There is a phrase, they say that unless you roll a dice, you don't get a six. So rolling the dice right now is to put your hand in your wallet, pick up your cards, or you can go online and book yourself for this wonderful offer that we have. It is just $99. And you can book this for yourself. Smiling and whistling is a good art. But you can't smile and whistle at the same time. Here at HomePath, we're giving you a good deal and quality of a software together. That is more than what you would want. We would like to end this session today with a small story. I would ask just 60 seconds of your time. This is a wonderful story of a woodcutter 
who cut 20 logs of wood every day. And he did that for 25 long years. And he was content with it. But after a few years, there came a junior woodcutter who cut 40 logs every day and 50, and it went up to 60 logs. But the old woodcutter would still cut 20 logs every day. One fine day, he decided to walk up to the junior woodcutter and ask him, what is it that you do different and so unique that you cut 60 logs in a day and I am so much senior to you? The junior woodcutter was very humble. He said, all that I do, sir, is I sharpen my ax after every log of wood that I cut. So my friends, it's time to sharpen your axe. And the best way to do that is log into our website and just book yourself for this wonderful offer. We've got this offer especially for our webinar attendees who've woken up so early in the morning. Some of you stayed back late night. You've kept all your other commitments on hold to watch this webinar. So we will definitely do something special for you. Here's a great offer. Okay, you just have to book yourself onto this offer. You can give us a missed call or you can put in the mail to gordon at homepath.com. That is G-O-R-D-A-N at homepath.com. And you have got a number on the screen that is plus one eight seven seven double six double seven six two one for international users. I repeat, it's plus one eight seven seven double six double seven six two one. So friends, thank you very much for your time and patience. Don't wait. I know you want to book it. I still know you want to book it. Just book it. Thank you. Hi, Traudy. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you when I'm there in Sydney. Looking forward to meet you. Uh, do we have Lucia? <laughs> All right. All right, thank you, everybody. Can we watch it again? Answer that one. Yes, you can definitely watch this wonderful webinar once again. In a few hours, it will get uploaded and you can watch it. And if you want it for the Mac version, like Dr. Jawar Shah rightly said, that Saturday morning, once again, we're going to have the webinar for the Mac version. So you can tell your friends and other homeopaths as well to watch this webinar. You don't want to miss it. We can have something new for you. We will definitely have something new for you. Thank you, friends. Thank you very much.